Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today in this video tutorial, we will explain a bit about the Kirchhoff's voltage law or simply called as the KVL. And what is the definition or statement of the KVL? It simply says that all the voltages that used to rise within the circuit must be dropped within the same circuit. Like sum of all the voltages arise is equal to the sum of the voltages dropped. It is just like the law of conservation of energy. So, so, so here we will, we will, we will now start our simulation, practical simulation, so that you can observe it and can understand well. So we will take uh, first. We will take one battery. We will take one battery and we will also take around it is a bit tank so wait until it retrieves okay okay now we have two bulbs as is a load so now what is the main difference between this battery and these loads Although both are considered as electrical components, but the battery is an energy riser or voltage riser. It used to give or supply power to the system or to the circuit. And what are the bulbs? They actually drops the power. Like we cannot say drop the power. We uh, the, the pure wording is the the power dissipation. They they used to dissipate the power and they drops the voltages like voltages must be dropped like if 9 volts are raised by the, this battery then 9 volts must be dropped inside these bulbs so let's uh, connect them and no need for polarity change or anything because we can say that they are non-polar we can connect them in any way okay now okay now we will take one meter and we will see the voltage drop across these bulbs okay so that what, what is the voltage drop across these bulbs so we can connect them in parallel like a voltmeter must be connected in parallel with the load okay first you can connect like this and then now we will take uh, two two meters okay and we can connect like a terminal one and this is terminal one okay so so it is connected in parallel with the bulbs okay okay now we okay now now we have connected both the meters with that of the bulbs okay so now we are going to simulate this circuit and as the total uh, rising voltages are 9 volts so 4.5 volt must be dropped across each of the bulbs okay so we will yeah okay we can see that we got 4.5 nearly 4.5 and 4.5 volts dropped across these bulbs Although it is not perfectly equal to 9 volt, maybe some 8.95 or like that. And it is because that some of the voltages are dropped inside these wires and, and also 
if uh, the meters are of like uh, some low quality then there must be some sort of drops inside the windings of the meter the coil or the winding and in some uh, what's called as the internal circuitry of the meter so because there are just three things these bulbs these wires and these two meters so whatsoever the voltage is raised must be dropped obviously inside these three are like uh, these three things like bulbs wires and meters so hopefully you got some bit concept regarding the kvl or kirchhoff's voltage loss implementation so thanks for watching this video tutorial